Welcome to a new video and in this video we want to try out Huawei's pedal search in the new version. As it is in the media here you can see how Huawei Central, uh, Huawei pedal search versus Google search, a new search engine is now launched and it's talking about uh, pedal search being like more effective, having more options and features. If you really can talk about a new really search engine I don't want to say that because it is only available for uh, yeah, phones as an application. It's not a website that you can um, just call. But anyway, we want to take a look at uh, Huawei Paddle Search. So let's go here. I go into App Stores. I have it categorized under App Stores and open up Paddle Search here on my Huawei MatePad Pro. So let's take a look at the update of Paddle Search 11. One thing that you can see already is that Pedal Search is not really optimized for the tablet screen. I'm running it on my MatePad Pro here and you can see, yeah, we get like a smartphone-like view. Anyway, I wanted to check out the whole thing. Uh, first of all, what you can see here is that we have a feed now here. I think it was there before, but now it is a feed that is categorized. First of all, it's showing local news, so it's showing uh, my uh, German news here and uh, Interesting thing is like I can go here between different categories, go to video, business, sport, international, um, entertainment and technology and get news here. Uh, what I can also go if I'll go to for you here, it will list you the top 10, 12 in this case, uh, different search topics or hot topics that people are searching for, just like uh, Sputnik V, Sputnik 5, AstraZeneca. So it's also football stuff and so on. And I have um, some icons on top like shopping, travel and news and I can add various different icons here just like I have the option for this uh, fourth spot to set up top apps, images, weather, restaurants, uh, videos, online support or some tools like dictionaries or unit converters, uh, translating tool calculations uh, in app, in apps search apparently. Uh, music, films, uh, sports and travel related things or exchange rates. I just add exchange rates and what happens is that you now have this icon here and you can see I have another plus icon so I can add even more items in here. If I press on exchange rate for example you can see now here the uh, also optimized a little bit for tablets version so it's opening up on the right side. And it's uh, telling me exchange rates here and I have the option to see exchange rates here. As you can see US dollar to Euro or Euro to US dollar and I can change of course the currency to whatever I like to have here. So this is uh, pretty nice and I have again news here um, regarding finances and regarding exchange rates. So news that can change the exchange rate in different countries which is also pretty interesting. And then I have some shopping stuff as well here. I'm not sure why shopping stuff is here. Uh, anyway images as well here and other stuff and on top you have again the various different categories you can browse for stuff. So uh, let's go back here and what we want to do now is uh, go uh, take a look at uh, down here at the various different categories because one new category is the nearby category. So of course uh, I can click on nearby here and I have now nearby uh, the new nearby feed which allows you me to see all the popular things nearby me just like restaurants, bars, gas stations, shopping centers, banks, pharmacy, parking, metro, metro, uh, movies and more. If I click on more there are even more things that I can set up here like ATMs for example. If I'm searching for an ATM I can click on here and it will show me the nearest ATMs and how far they are away from me and when they're closing and so on. So this is very very handy if you want to plan your trip or you're in a city you don't know where. I know in COVID times, in Corona times probably uh, no one is traveling around but if it's possible again it would be very very handy to have. And you can see like uh, usually you, I can imagine this seeing in Google Maps or something like similar like restaurants for, for example food and drinks. So I can see pictures here of food and drinks and I have the option to scroll down and, and see various different stuff. And if, if I find this interesting I can click on this and I can get the rating here. I can see where it is located. Uh, I can see uh, the, the, that it's 
yeah, open, probably not in Corona times here, but I can see the website. Uh, TripAdvisor is uh, where it gets the data. I have the photos here. I can see the various different photos. Hope they're still loading or are they in this bad quality but at least i can see photos what they have to eat here very interesting i have the about as well her finest creation food in this case for this restaurant um, very interesting and the same thing i don't only have for food and drinks but also attractions just like for example uh, the flora which is like a botanical garden in cologne and yeah see where it is where uh, also some pictures probably only one picture in this case very nice in summer times of course to see and many many other things that i can see here if i'm searching for a hotel for example also pretty nice pretty good especially if you're traveling of course you can do this and of course gas stations if you're traveling and and, and so on you can even search for stuff so uh, we have the normal search engine here as well then we go to pedal and if you go to pedal then we get like a yeah a summary screen for our uh, account where we see like a uh, good evening first of all then we see my day so we can see weather forecast for the next hours or for the next days even pretty nice uh, and i have also the option to uh, set things up here if i want to i see in moments uh, what's new so some news here i can scroll through a little bit of those news i'm not sure why this i'm not uh, loading here those uh, little thumbnails but usually the loading what to watch so i have a little watch list here can of course uh, just refresh it and get another list here of other things and how tools even very interesting sometimes uh, what to do how to save some energy how to um, refresh your room correctly and so on and i have a button here which allows me to set all this up what i want to have in my day um, on the pedal page basically then i have recents where i can see my recent searches and you can see the investment and search that i did or i was searching for neptune linux and here's another interesting thing i did this search by using uh, this uh, microphone item because uh, right now i cannot use it probably because the mic is used uh, but i have the option to search for stuff using the microphone but that's not all if i want to search for example for huawei free uh, what is it free lace headphones I'll just place it here in front of the table and i click this button here and this opens up the camera and i have to turn it down i'm not sure if this is recording right now uh, and now i have the option to just simply do a reverse image search or i can go here and click for shopping and i do a shopping search and it will hopefully search and find the huawei freelace so I found similar products and you can see it found different things here but probably because of the color but in general this could work out if you're searching for a special product and you have various different sources you can search for and let's go on aliexpress but it didn't detect the freelays correctly but you get the idea what what what's going on here so a nice little search uh, reverse image search that you have here as well so let's go back this is a recent tab this is the search and then we can go to the me tab and on the me tab i have the option to go into incognito mode so it's not tracking and everything that i'm searching for and not saving this for future recommendations i have a privacy center where i can set up everything that i want to like the search mode is the standard or i can set it to smart which should learn a little bit more and this is more the privacy yeah aware standard which where it, it doesn't track so much of what you're searching for i can set up some system permissions here for uh, what permissions should be allowed so if i don't want it to have my location i can just simply go in here we go to the system settings and i have the option to disable the location um, collecting location then search scopes on the device i can search for various different things that i have on the device like apps for example or i can search for contacts messaging calendar notepad email settings and music files let's search also for music it might be very handy to search for music files and then i have some service improvements uh, that i can check here if i want to have a visual search improvements a visual voice search as well and new service enhancements i can um, also add in here ads as recommendations are disabled by default i can clear my data and request my data if i want to so this is also possible then i can add the search for my home screen that give me gives me a little um 
yeah, a little uh, option how to do this, how I can enter this search and how I can add this search engine to or the pedal search on my desktop as a widget. I have some settings as well, like I can set the language and region if I'm in a different region, for example, like right now I'm in Germany, but I can uh, change it to whatever I like to. So various different countries. So we get news from this other country, especially useful if you're uh, on vacation somewhere. I can have safe search, uh, moderate, strict or off completely. So if you want to search for stuff that might be adult content or something like this, you can turn this off. You can manage your apps as well. You can set your app region because this is another thing is that this um, pedal search, of course, allows uh, searching for apps, uh, download with mobile data, delete packages after installation and stay informed about updates and allow update notifications, which will then uh, give you notifications if an application that you downloaded via pedal search um, issued in your update, you can just download it and then again. And you can, of course, receive notifications in general. Apps I was talking about. So let's take a look at the apps. There's online feedback, uh, online support, feedback and about, of course, as well. If I go to downloads here, you can see I have several applications that I can update now, like Netflix, Instagram uh, and so on, Brave Browser, uh, Signal Messenger and, and, and so on. So let's, for example, update Brave Browser, click on update here, we go to APK Pure in this case and I can download and re-download the application for me. And this is the way how you can update applications that are not available in the Huawei app gallery via Paddle Search, very easily uh, done. And the same way you can install applications as well. So let's download this in the background and we go to For You and I can just go into the search engine here. You can see it's now opening on the right and I can search for an application, uh, just like search for VLC, for example. I have it already installed, but if I want to install it and it would be not available in the uh, app gallery, I can click here and it will do an official web search, but I can also go to here to the apps page and there I can see that it's available via app gallery, but can also find probably on APK Pure, some other VLC uh, programs here and install them uh, for my tablet or for my uh, Android phone. So. Huawei Android phone in this case. Actually, Apple Search is available for different Android phones. But yeah, this is the way you do it. So you can uh, then uh, do it here. Uh, let's search for free lace uh, pro maybe. And we want to go shopping. So what I do now is not go into the apps category, but I go to shopping. And uh, yeah, you can see there's nothing in terms of free lace pro. Let's search for Huawei Freelace in the shopping category. Then we get some Huawei stuff, phones, but not the Freelace itself. Maybe it's not available here. But anyway, you get the prices, you get an um, overview of stuff. You can filter it in different colors if you want to. And let's say I want to buy the new Huawei Mate 40 Pro for this uh, from this website. It's a bit expensive. I click on this and we'll go to the website itself. And I have the option then to, ah, now it is installing Brave that I'm downloading via pedal search and say, allow and I have the option to performing security check of course it takes a while and this app has not undergone app computer security testing installed with caution so you be cautious about this but I know that this is a safe app and I know the source is safe so I can install it and it's now installing and done and now I'm back into uh, the search and here I have yeah the Huawei phone that I can buy for this from this company here not sure if I want to do this. Anyway, if I want to have more about Huawei Freelace, what I can do also is go to videos and then I get some videos here. Huawei Freelace Pro, for example, videos on Huawei Video uh, as primary source. Is there another source? I think it's only Huawei Video. But you have the option to search for videos here as well and sometimes you find interesting things. And if you're searching for a flight, for example, you can search for flights here as well. It will go to the flight search uh, where you can um, yeah, type in where you want to fly, when you want to fly, if you want to fly economy, business, first class, how many persons uh, will fly with you and so on. It will search for flights and you can go and do the same for trips. We can see I want to plan a trip or something like this. Of course, Corona times, not so interesting, but in general it is possible and the same goes for hotels. So you can see there's a lot in this pedal search now that allows you to do certain things. Like for example, I was planning your trip to uh, yeah, somewhere here in Cologne, for example, and you will stay in a hotel. You have the, for example, Hilton Hotel or something like this in Cologne. You can see the pictures here. You can see how much uh, per night it will cost and so on. So you have the possibility to do this. 
very very nice in here with the planning of this then of course we can also search for music so let's uh, go what shall we search for Avril Lavigne for, for example Avril Lavigne and uh, we can search for music here and we search for music now from here and uh, you can see I get some music here from Huawei Music and I can also play it if I want to so it will start playing in Huawei Music and uh, should start playing in Huawei Music. Uh, this is possible with the uh, Huawei pedal search where you have the option to search also for music, download music um, as well. Uh, you can go also to YouTube Music if you want to, Spotify or Deezer. So go to YouTube mu uh, Music here and press this button. It will go to musicyoutube.com and I can listen to the song probably on YouTube, on YouTube Music as you can see here. And uh, so it has many, many different uh, options to, uh, that allow me to do this. Then in apps search will allow me to search in applications that I already have, like Twitter, for example, or Guardian. Uh, or other applications, Spotify for example, YouTube as well as you can see here, uh, Apple Music and so on, IMDb if I want to I click on this and uh, it will go to IMDb. I can install IMDb from uh, APK Pure as you can see here. It's just a simple install and yeah, it's a very, very uh, comprehensive and uh, good summary of everything what you can imagine. You have the possibility to search for this. I think it is using here in Europe. It should be using Quant as the search engine eventually. I'm not 100% sure, but maybe you can write it in the comment section what you think about this new pedal search. I like it more and more and I have to say maybe I will really add it to the desktop as my um, yeah, search engine of choice. This is uh, the version 11.02.305. If the new version appears, of course, might have new things as well. And I hope I gave you a nice little overview about the new features of the pedal search and how powerful pedal search has become in the short little time that um, it took from the first version that I showed you earlier uh, last year. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.